Okay, testing again, testing, checking my mic settings, checking volume. <clears throat> I would love to have a partner status so we don't have to check for quality. That would be great. How does volume sound? Because that's my biggest primary because that's the one that needs to be fixed permanently. Because that doesn't go away like if quality you does. lower the background, it's voice a little bit more. Oh my god. I have it at 16. Then it's good. That's good. Uh, okay, I'm, I have a little higher. It's. I can't do a little higher. It's at thirteen now. Uh, do we have quality? Yeah. We do. <clears throat> I want to play this game with a controller. Can you? Yes. I just tried it in here. You told me not to start this until we starting things. I don't even know if anyone's in chat. Do I start now? I feel like this is a game where I needed a warm-up based off of what you've mentioned about it. Like, hi Amaya, but I feel like, oh, here's our gen team and Amaya. Should I just start? I'm just yeah, just start. Okay. okay, fine. See? Controller works. <gasps> is that kitty? Oh. Uh, de <coughs> Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix the Judge Aaron Mullins, we miss you. I miss you too. Are you the cat or the person? I don't know. And no spoilies. See? Controls! Examine. Cancel. Walk. I put my default settings to run because fuck walking. Walk faster, right trigger. Menu. Meh. Inventory. Meh. Okay. This is pretty standard controls. I'm fine with that. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. What are you doing, Bodie? Sometimes you may find an item, really. Once you've picked up an item, you may have... You may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Okay. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also autosaves after some key events. That's good to know. Hi, Hollow Mirage. Am I a cat or a person? I don't know. It's so small. Hello? I see a kitty. There's a TV. That's not a kitty. That's a TV remote. <laughs> this is a computer. Input password. This is my password. How do I not know my own password? Go to bed. Nico just woke up here. No, go back to bed. Go back to bed. <sighs> Dusty books. It's too dark to read. Maybe I should turn on the light then. A soft glow light, glowing light trickles through the window. Um, I'm not going to be able to see chat as much. Just because of how this game is, apparently, from what I understand. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. That's because they're yours. There's no water in the toilet. What kind of house is this? The tub won't run. Tiger just squeaky me out. Hi. He just came at me, full force, <laughs> with just determination. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. I have a branch. I have a dry branch. I'm gonna start a fire. Um, can I? <laughs> ah! Oh, you combine them. How do how do I use this? I don't I don't see a TV. I'm already stuck. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. I'm so upset. Let's look at the books. Dusty books. It's too dark to re to read. The tub won't run. There's no water in the toilet. Oh my god. Travel. You cannot fast travel now. <clears throat> I'm upset with everything. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that! There's nothing else to do. The tub won't run. Just... 
soft glowing light trickles through the window. This is, this is great. You cannot perform this action during cutscenes. Have you tried using the items that you have? I don't know how to use them. <laughs> don't I just have to equip it? Television remote. This is the password, one, two, three, four. It's not. Why? 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 I can see that this game's gonna go over very well. You have to keep it equipped. It was equipped. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All of the numbers except one, six, seven, and three are missing. They're marked in bright colors. Oh my god. Red one, blue six, yellow seven. Red one, blue six, yellow seven. Okay, I'm starting again. Okay. <clears throat> Look at this screen. I remember these screens. You found me. This is called a computer. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Dilly, unless I find out where you're writing this into a registry on the computer and I erase it. <laughs> Just think. Why is it a window I have to click? Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Did everyone else see that? That window? Should I, like, capture part of the screen or something? I don't know. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. It knew my name. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> anyone? It's gonna be one of these games. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. That sounds like something to use this branch with. Nico readies the branch. It doesn't manage to light. Damn it. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Probably from this. The sink won't turn on. There's like nothing going on in this world. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. I'm gonna use that with this. Yep, Nico ditches the branch into the bottle. Now I'm gonna use this. this spark. Ah! God damn it, guys! I will be right back. So, guys, I very easily just wasted 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. I'm supposed to be getting some references together right now to hand her, but because I don't have a managerial reference, I need two managerial references, and the current ones don't count because I need to have someone I reported to, and I didn't report to anyone because I was the IT manager, and they want IT managers for me to report to. I don't have any of those. Mostly yeah, because people. most of mine are, were involved in companies that got liquidated. So, anyways. I, I will forward her the references. I am, what is today, Tuesday? Yeah, just tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow and I'm just gonna, or later today, and I'm just gonna say I'm ignoring this for now. Um, that was a waste of time. Okay, wonderful, beautiful. I'm sorry you guys had to wait. No, this is this is part of the job process. I, I the, When she took that long and she started spinning on things that she needed to provide to their clients, I'm all like, you're full of crap. Oh, what's this? Ah, I clicked too fast! It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack on the floor. In the floor. Nico digs it out. The flames are dim but comforting. Nico, you're bugging me. Why, why are you so worthless? Basement key. Empty bottle. We can't combine those. I don't understand Nico's point. What is your point in life? The sink won't turn on. Can I just look at this? No. The refrigerator is empty. It's just a chair. It's just a table. It's just a chair. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as that whole L. It's great. I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as that whole job thing goes, but whatever. What's his name? Pretend he was a lead. I'm not asking people to pretend. I did that in the past, I no longer need to do that. And the thing is it takes a certain type of person to be able to do it properly. Oh, it's a beautiful light bulb. Don't step on it! Actually, go ahead and step on it. I have a light. Mmm, water. Um, I'm also newly unemployed, which means I have a little bit of um, leeway on being able to pick and choose. And I even told her that at one point. I'm like, I can pick and choose. So, I know how good of an employee I am, and I know how good I am with end users and clients and stuff so if they want to throw that kind of thing away whatever I'm like there's a reason why you have fucking oh, this is just for a light bulb I have the light bulb put it in that doesn't make any sense that's a piece of wood this is gonna be one shot the Dilly finds a job introspective and however this game is supposed to run. By the way, in Dilly fashion, my goal is probably going to be to try and mess up with this girl as much as possible. It's like, how much can I make her life a piece of crap? Oh my god, Card James! Ah! That! Thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. You wanted to be called Auntie. Auntie? I don't have your plugin. <laughs> I'm going through here. That was super sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Especially after that phone call. <laughs> you can quickly travel to locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. Welcome to Skyrim. The default key for opening the menu is A. I don't have that. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. A robot. It no longer has power. Look at this beautiful pond. I'm outside. What's left of a robot? What happens if I unequip the... Oh, you can't unequip the light bulb. Real eyes? What is wrong with you, honey? Was I inside a boxcar? That doesn't make any sense. Isaac's crying. He's crying. It's what left of a robot. I don't know where I'm going. Apparently I'm going this way. Apparently I'm going this way now. No, go up. Now you are rich. <laughs> oh, in third world country status we are. <laughs> he was talking to Auntie. Huh? What? He was talking to Auntie. Oh, into Auntie? I'm not looking at chat enough. I need to look at chat more. It's really hard with games like this. There's something over here. What are you? Um, hello? Yeah, you wanna be a bitch to me? You fucking be a You gonna talk to me? Or you, uh, you want this? I got this! I got light and you don't! Piece of shit! Here, have an empty bottle to remember your days of drinking. I guess you don't want that. Okay. I like how we empty the bottle and the stick. We we're all like, yeah, just add some alcohol to the stick. Empty bottle. Let's go in here. This looks good. It's a broken off section of railing. I've always wanted a metal rod. This lady who works for a local paper was trash talking you and trying to ruin contact. Uh, contracts for you so you had a lawyer nice spread pro bed probably looks familiar to you dilly nico first woke up in this world here i know it's important that you allow nico to sleep once in a while the game will exit automatically and can be continued later don't be alarmed but now is no time for rest wow won't let her sleep when she wants oh, she can't go that way suit her ass because she wouldn't follow a cease and desist order. Nice. The air here is unbreathable. Well, I guess we don't go that way. 
<coughs> you wanna fight, Tonk? You wanna fuck? You wanna fucking fight? Oh, you're in a boat. You could sink your boat one day. <laughs> this, this entire world. You don't think Nico even has a gender officially? I think Nico is a girl. That's how I view Nico. I don't know why. This is beautiful. What's this? Nothing. What do I? What do you do with this? It weighs surprisingly little. What's left of a robot? Oh, hey, there's something here. Ah! That light bulb! You are here! M me Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I am most humbled by your presence, yes! Um, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Alright, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh! So you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Justice by prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. I'm gonna fuck you up. You will be the ones to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> no. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Ah, uh, well. Can you tell me about... The light bulb. I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your ha hands is our new sun. This isn't a sun. Your sun? Yes! Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land but one day the light went out oh the world is still hanging on by a thread the surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor fortunately for us this element stored light energy from our previous sun it's now our only source of illumination but its energy is finite when the last of the light dies our world will too but now that you are here with the new sun all is well you will need to restore it to the tower that looks pretty far off and like something i don't want to do Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about going home? I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. Can you tell me about... Shelly, you have more questions. Can you? I, I don't have any more. I'm done. I don't... Whatever. This world. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see f too far off if everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time awaits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so it's what's... That's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh, can you tell me about... The computer. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico, but... I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Dilly. Stares at me uncomfortably. Dilly? Ah, that would be our god. If you are here, that means Dilly is here also. Dilly will provide guidance for your journey. Did you notice you didn't put your name in? I know I didn't put my name in. Where is it grabbing my name from? It can't be grabbing it from Steam because it would be using Dillybit. <laughs> my computer's name isn't even Dilly, guys. Because it's under a different name. Wait, no, is it? Yeah, no, it's under a different username. Hmm. <laughs> In fact, they already have. It's not comfortable with this game anymore. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Dilly yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Dilly. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Hello? Dilly, are you there?
That is not my name. Uh, oh. Well, what is your name then? Don't fuck with it. It's Dilly. But that's what I said. Nice to meet you, Dilly. <laughs> my name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Dilly. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Dilly for assistance. You are the Messiah after all. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. I'm done. I'm not playing this anymore. <laughs> it's got to be picking your name from somewhere. It won't turn on. Dusty shelves. Dusty shelves. A robot without power. Dusty shelves. Dusty shelves. It's just all dusty shelves. What's this? It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. <clears throat> if you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team. <clears throat> you know what I didn't do? Get water. No, I have water. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Now, I'm talking about... Um, I, um, um, there were bookshelves in my house that I couldn't read because I didn't have light. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Signed management. Let's leave this house real quick. Let's do travel to the entrance. Why can't I go back? Why can't I go back? Why can't I go back? <sighs> the game's all like, no, fuck you. This is not fair. Travel. Outpost. Let's just, let's go here. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Gimme. Give, give this box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. You do. It's called this. The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Dilly. We'll need to flatten it somehow. <clears throat> With this! I'm not gonna smash the bottle. Smash that! Dilly, I'm not gonna smash the sun! Do it! <laughs> I just got an achievement, guys. It's called Chaotic Evil. Do it! <laughs> I can't combine those. <laughs> just. <laughs> a robot may not injure a living person. Or through or interaction, allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. It's, it's, that's the standard AI rules. Map of the world. Refuge. Tower. Glen Barrens. I'm glad that was a thing. What's this? A page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the first few first most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. What's this? Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. It's electromagnetic thing. A lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Dusty shelves. It's, it's a jar? Smash it! Damn it. It's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in there. A metal rod? I want an empty bottle. Doesn't seem to fit. There's a rectangle... Sh okay, anyways. It's a rectangle shaped hole! 
I need something to smash my rod. What is this? It won't turn on. I want to smash your pass. Smash. Yep. This is what we're doing now. This looks appropriate. This robot sitting on a conveyor belt doesn't seem to have power. Ah, there's that one. Same as before. None of these robots have power, guys. That's a big machine. Looks like a press used to crush metal. Oh, yes. Yep, just do this. It's it's not working. Uh, I think I have to get the, the factory working first. What's left of a robot's arm? It's what's left of a robot's arm. That one's working! Smash this! Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Smash the sun! Deli! I'm not gonna put the sun here! Why would you want to smash a bottle here, Dilly? The shards would get everywhere and cut you. And cut you. <laughs> okay. I just want to see what else is out here. Let's not go this way. You get more nuts, Winston, by just watching. It's as empty. That and being given them. Um. Okay. I like how it made a crowbar. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. It looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. It's a broken battery. It feels like we're on the right track, though. Wait, what? Can't combine those. What? what? Goody. They did not ask for two references. None of my staffing agencies asked for two managerial references. There's a lot of small, growing, glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. This is, uh, what if I do this? No. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. It's electromagnetic. What did this thing say about it? Page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via... Okay. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided custom... Okay, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to somehow fix this thing. Battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. I know. And originally when we did this, I don't think we can do anything else here. It feels like we're on the right track, though. That's good to know. I tried to get smash the light bulb with the crowbar. I was just combining things, and he said, no, I'm not going to smash it. It was like chaotic evil. And I was like, yes! And I've been trying to get her to smash it since then. He's like, no. He, she, it, shim. Say she. You thought she, she. was a she. Nico's a she. girl to me. I don't know why, but she is. And she's adorable. I'm, I'm gonna give the temp agency my references later. I just don't give a crap. I'm like, if you can't understand that some people have problems with the idiots in management, then you probably don't understand what you're doing. I don't know. Hi, buddy. What's this? It's beautiful. This is what I came for. Just this. Just this. That and body being up on the high butt. And now body. I'm gonna walk on this because I like the sound of it. There we go. Let's go this way. Now this way. What is this? Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Well, that's good. Can I have one? Because I know of an area that needs it. Just 
Stop! Stop! What am I doing? That's not a place to go. Oh my god. That's a note I missed. I have a feeling this connects over here with something. Not necessarily over here. Oh my god! Go back! This world is beautiful. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? When she, okay. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. That was a suicide note. That's grim as fuck. There's a box over here. What are you? A metal safe seems like it's locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes, do you Dilly? That wasn't it. We haven't seen any six digit codes. Okay, let's go back this way. There's a few different ways we can go. I'm gonna go up first because that seemed to be something. Hi, Starlight. Tilly, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. The obvious leaves that tell me to where to walk, and I'm just like, fuck that. Who are you? The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? I am Jeebus! That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. The cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But the robot back there says no mis there's no mistake. I know. Sigh. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable, improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't just really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh. Don't take my word for it, though. You're grim. I like you. It's a metal chess table. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a long time. Oh, not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. jar full of glowing shrimp. The top is covered with a wire mesh. Uh, another wire mesh. Um, there's just these glowing shrimp everywhere. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry. Mushroom. I can't imagine what you're feeling. Pro AJ13, thank you for the follow. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell, it keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. I'm gonna break it. Some kind of power cell, apparently. The word silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? It's not important. Okay. Break it. Suck all the power up. Ow, it got shocked. I told you not to touch it. Dilly made me. She got shocked. I'm not falling enough for that one again, Dilly. What's on the bookcase? Shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. What's on, what's this? Something's poking out from the shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Take the screwdriver and destroy her battery. She's... I can't. Anyways. Look at this. Wait! 
I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. You must enter it. It's my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. I don't want to go in there anymore. It'd be rude to leave now. I don't want to be in here anymore. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. How emo are you? It's another one of these shrimp jars. Can I just gather the shrimp jars? No. Broken camera with a large screwed in lens. Screwdrivers. Use a screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. That's a large glass lens. I'm gonna put the. The lens pops right in to the empty battery. Well, intact rechargeable battery, currently empty. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would never have thought of that about that. Good thing, Dilly. Oh, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. I have a charged battery. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. It looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been a long while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial impact. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. I hate you. I want to leave. Ready to leave? Mm hmm. I, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Okay, let's go this way. No, that's where she came from. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go up here. It's a robot. No power, just like the rest. This robot. Well, all the robots are gonna be powered up the moment I use this battery. Travel to the outpost. Hi. We're gonna do this. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Whoa. Can I pick this up now? It's a power cell, I think. Oh, the word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. I want it. Give it to me. Damn it. Profit bot. I am functional. Did you the power of the generator? I guess we did, right, Dilly? Don't talk to me. I'm your god. You don't talk to me so willy nilly. I can walk. He's functional. He's so happy. Oh my god, I just realized I'm a god! I'm not gonna talk to her and respond to her unless she gives me proper sacrifices, preferably in the form of robots. It's a robot, it's beyond repair. What? Don't look at me like that. Beyond repair robot. Let's go to the factory and see all the robots that were just sitting there. Now they're all just... Hello, organic life form. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yep. Glad all of you... Oh, hello. Hi. So glad you all are just robots again. Don't know what we would have done without these robots. I know. So far, I've been fine. Ah! Anxiety Rich, thank you for the $10 donation! That was super sweet. Thank you very much. Isaac's trying to. It's probably being all like, why are you being so mean to this little girl? I'm like, because I'm a god! What? I am a god. I'm sorry. I can't get over the fact that this game called me a god. 
Okay. You want me to use the crowbar to open the safe? Dilly, I'll try. The door is sealed flush. We might need the code after all. Well... Dang it. <clears throat> I forgot there was a... <laughs> there was that. Let's... Let's go back over... Here. Let's travel to the lookout point. Because there was the robot over here. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. That's it. All you told me? Fine. We did. We, uh, we finished the games, and now there's new games to be had. Oh, it's poison. Dilly, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. It's fine. I told you to go up there. I am your god. Dilly, there's something in the air. It hurts to breathe. She just won't. She just won't. I don't have a vehicle. So I can't go that way. I went up. Travel. Let's go back to the entrance. It might be time to sleepy. Eh. Oh, robot. Hello. I am functional. Mm hmm. They are all worthless. I like how that's what all the robots can say. I am functional! Like, yup. Yeah, you are. I noticed you were. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is this guy. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Dilly helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robo Robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. Dilly and I will find a way to help you. Um, no. You sacrifice him to me. Crowbar. Kill him. Damn it. <laughs> I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. The game went away. Okay. That was... That was... That was stupendous. I should probably just... Reopen that. Then. That was... That was worthwhile. What did you do? I turned the game off. Why? Because she wanted to take a nap. She was tired. It's not my fault. Look, it's a whole... She's having a dream or something. Oh, look how cute it is. The drawings are cute. <clears throat> Dilly, are you still there? I can't say no! Turn the game off and make her think. You cannot perform this action during cutscenes. You want to bet? Watch this. <laughs> what is that? End task. Well, that game crashed. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You're going to break the game. I'm not going to break the game. You can actually corrupt the save file. How do you corrupt the save file? If you close a game while it's saving, you corrupt it saving. It wasn't saving! Dilly, are you still there? I guess, yes. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> I had a dream just now. I saw. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's trying to get on my computer again. You did? Wow. I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I know. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Buddy! Huh? This isn't the world I live in, really? Uh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home called? That's a secret. I see. Does your world have a sun? I can't tell you that. Oh, the sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. I can't tell her things about reality. 
Because then her opinion of me as a god goes down and she humanizes me. And we can't allow that. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. During the night, people usually go to sleep. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. And anyway, we should probably get going. Glad I told her nothing. So this is her default walk speed. Oh my god. I'm so glad I told her to be default run. Okay, let's go find your friend some lube. I mean, oil. <laughs> well, you're not going that way anytime soon. <laughs> it looked like you could, but I guess not. Well, we can't go this way. There's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Well, there's a whole bunch of extra gas masks. Shouldn't it be with silver? Whatever that person's name is. Let's find out. Travel. Let's go to the outpost first. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Uh, can you tell me about the Barons, the Prophecy of the Tower? The Barons. It's so empty here, that's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to... So, you just stand here? Must be boring. He doesn't, because he walks back and forth. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Hello again. More questions? Yes. No, not the Barrens again! Okay, I'm done. Okay. We're done talking to you. No, I'm not going that way. I, I made a fool of myself once. Hi, fruitcake. Hi, Wolfie. Let's go this way. It's just... I've already been in the factory. There was nothing in there. Uh, can I go up? Bottle. Here. What if I do use an empty bottle on these? It has to be a pool that's overflowing because those are ready for harvest, I think the note said. Ah. Here. We're gonna do travel, outpost, now travel, lookout point. Inside the tower, I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. I'm not falling for that one again. Why, why, why don't you just touch it? Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. How about we get... Some gas mass. It's a crate. A bed. It's made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. Hit her over the head. Oh my god. Okay, we're going back this way. Let's go to the mines again. Maybe there's something there. She didn't let me in last time. She said I go. The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Just, just go over there. Another one of those shrimp jars. This is great. Yes. Did you activate the robots yet? Yes. Uh, the computer should have turned off in there. <sighs> God damn it. The computer. Oh no, it's fine to ask for help. I see this. you've made progress in this world, Dilly. But that progress stops here. Maybe you should just mention Nico's name. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Dilly? As the window pop-up says. Good. Start looking. Travel. I can't travel. Oh my god, it doesn't exist in this world. I'm gonna go to the cliffs. It's not where I wanted. Uh, Docks. There we go. Because there's a bed here. 
I'm not sleepy anymore. But. But. Just close it? Yeah. Settings. It doesn't let me just close. Can I just close it? Your action will record. This action will record your progress in this world. To return to this world, you need to relaunch the application. Proceed, yes. That was beautiful. Was it supposed to put something on my desktop? Because if so, it has no idea what it's doing. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! I'm now scouring my computer. Because I have a feeling it's one of those types of games. Properties. Local files. Browse local files. Um, credits. Whatever this is. What is this? It's a club. I opened a club screen. If you get confused, just talk to the computer again. It's just... I'm looking. I'm looking around. I'm gonna go fold laundry. You, what? You're gonna leave me? If you get confused, just talk to the computer again. There's all these screens that I can get, though. Um. Oh. Guys. I think I'm unintentionally seeing things I'm not supposed to see. <laughs> because if you dive into the game files, <laughs> things are here. <laughs> this is not good for me to be in here. What did you say? <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> and I've already seen this. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, well... I don't know what I was supposed to do. Here, go one shot. Yeah, talk to the computer again. Dilly? Dilly, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew, what happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. I've got to talk to the stupid computer again. Travel, outpost. This is what happens when you don't just go to sleep. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place that belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents? Yes! I'm in it's IT! <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'm just gonna do it without closing the game down. Documents. <laughs> the worst part... Is I have my computer super customized and I have multiple different document locations that are pinned. <laughs> <laughs> uh... No spamming agents in chat, fruitcake! Um. Hold on. Oh, here's a document from One Shot. Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east. Message to you, and I'm afraid I must make a brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that. Blah, 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 blah. You read it, and you will know what to do. I have also. Blah, blah, blah. Look for a metal safe. Okay. Let me see if I can turn this from wingdings into something else, just for fun, for funsies. Word. <laughs> just... <laughs> Cause I'm wondering if if this could be. Hold on. Uh, just make it into. Yeah, no, you can't change it. It's meant to look like that. I have also left you a mask. You knew you would need it. So there's a mask somewhere. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you convert it to different wording. So, uh, message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that you... Let's change this to Ariel. That you will not understand at first. <laughs> is it like staring at me? Did you not see me? Did you not figure this out? No, I just got the code and I was like, okay, I'm done. No, <laughs> just. <laughs> I'm changing the font. Um, however, 
Once you can read it, you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask. Uh, what does this say? Let me change you to Ariel. Because something, once you know, you will need it. Okay. Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east. Somewhere between the ocean. Yeah, whatever. 720136. So yeah, if you take, it gives you a text file. If you take the actual text file and you throw it into like a Word document, and if you change the fonts, you can actually read some of the rest of it. Travel. Uh, let's just walk there. It's not that far. Seven two zero one three six. Well, I kept the file mostly open so I could grab it if I needed. But thank you, honey. God damn it, Cam! I have the file easily available, anyways. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you? Seven two zero oh, one three six. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code? I still don't remember seeing one. I have my ways. I'm gonna be mysterious. I see what's in the safe, Nico. All right, let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything because I can. I just don't know what language this is. He said something about he had left it, but once I read, could read it. What is that? Um. I'll wear it when I have to. It's written in an unknown language. Well, let's go up this way first. Since we're already here. We can fast travel to the other one. Eight six seven five three oh nine. No, Cam! I should be fine with this mask on. Oh god, you're scary looking! gas vent. Here, let's grab some of that in this empty bottle. I can't reach the top. Damn it. It's great. It's gone here. What's this? It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. She'll wear those when she needs to. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barons. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head of engineer. But... Hello, person. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. It's great. Door is all boarded up. Board seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. I wonder if it's a crowbar! What a workout. Bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Either that or they're not meant to be powered on. Big metal box with complicated machinery inside. You mean a server? Seems to be a page ripped out of a book's book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the jar. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction as use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. That's a good thing you're here, Dilly. Oh my god. Cleaning sponge with rough surface. I'm glad. Can't combine those. Here, scrub the journal. Scrub the sun. Okay. Well, that was worthwhile. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my life easier. And I'm gonna take screenshots of the instructions. Here. Ugh. This 
the end of the page. Okay. That way I have this available. Let's see. Okay. That was perfect. That was great. I'm so glad I did that. Well, I was right about getting the bottle on top of one of those vents. Though I'm not exactly sure how. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? So, in other words, I'm going to have to use that cleaning solvent on the run rowboat one just to get them more functioning again. That's my guess. This is so pretty. Hello, do you need me help? I'm good, thanks. You're not, but whatever. You, you just lie to yourself. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, you cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's... What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah. Uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It's not worth the effort. What is taming of the robots? Taming of the shrew. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots Robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate, and we work so hard on those. But I suppose the rowboats, robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. What is... Oh. What? I'm scared of ladders. Great. Lots of tiny shrimp swim in the shore. It looks, it's looking a little dim. Power cell, I think. There's, there's writing on this one, too. It says Guardian of Residential Area. Break it! <clears throat> so he has his own power cell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. What are you doing? I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Hello. All of these terminals do not boot. I'm not sure what to do now. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? So there's multiples. Oh, there's one robot right there. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here by yourself. Yes. Well then. That was great. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Dilly, or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot, and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hee <laughs> hee. That is not correct. <laughs> Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Yep. Dilly, 
You made me look silly. Ha ha ha! You deserve it. Hello, organic person who's alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Oh my god, there's so many of these places. Infirmary. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected none. Treatment required none. You are good to go. Earth, thanks. Box medical tools. Most of them broken or busted beyond ears, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Oh. Okay. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing, but guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love, Mom. Aw. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. It's nothing. I'm scared of ladders. I know, but I was checking to see if there's anything up there. I feel like I've missed some dorms already, but... Evacuation is such short notice, I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. A robot beyond repair. Dilly's goal to make everyone look silly? How dare you? Scared of ladders, maybe. The needle's particularly long for the empty syringe. Oh boy. I did not finish walking through over here. This is... Pretty expansive. I don't know what I'm looking for. Or doing. Picture of a robot. I've already done that. What about this one? Did I do this one? Oh yeah, not all these terminals turn on. Damn it. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Shrimp are swimming in the jar. I didn't call him a baby for not calling. I'm a god! Anyways, hi. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to the left. We're going this way, and we're gonna keep going this way. I don't like ladders and I don't like heights, but I'm the god. So I'm allowed to call Nico a crybaby. Besides, Nico is a video game character who should be getting on fucking ladders. How great these are. None of these pools are bubbling and overflowing yet. I have the sun! You're the messiah! Oh, here we go. This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. I'm not gonna smash the bottle. I didn't ask you to smash the bottle. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas? That ought to do it. I can't combine those. Okay, so what do I have to do? Let me see. Going back to my pissers. Oh my god. Direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. 
I thought I could seal it with this, but I guess not. I, I don't have anything to seal it with. It's just gonna come out. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, the first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. Heights you can get the ladders. They're the same thing! We found that there's not one but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. Oh, so the, the shrimp are phosphor. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. Do you even need a cork? I don't know. If that's the case, then we owe a lot of these to these guys for gas. A lot to the guy. Okay. Um. I don't know. a whole lot of pools over here and things. <sighs> I'm gonna regret not checking this if I don't check it now. Nope. Ah! What's it like to live with a god other than dark for a lack of light bulbs? Tiring? TIRING! Let's see, watch. With a bottle of smoke still there. So we're at the docks. But if it's this bottle of smoke, what are you supposed to do with it from here? It says seal immediately. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. I don't have liquid. I don't have liquid phosphor. Um, you know what she wants to do? Bed. I'm not sleepy anymore. I guess not. She's not sleepy anymore! Here, you want this bottle of smoke? Hang in there. Yeah, well, we're, we're thinking of you. Yeah. Check liquid phosphor. Oh, so in order to get liquid phosphor, let me go. Can I travel to the shrimp swamp? This is the shrimp swamp. <gasps> Look at this one. This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed bubble over the surface of the pond. So, we're filling up the syringe. It's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Okay, filled syringe with bottled smoke. So I just... Yes, it had a cork. It's like I'm a doctor. Shake it vigorously. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Okay, we now have the bottle of the acid. Oh, hey. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. I suppose. I suppose. Travel back to the docks. Here. I need something I can wash the robot with. Guess you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge dilly? Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. <sighs> Travel. Lookout point. 
Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who could take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so told me to talk to you. All right. What is the issue? It says something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Dilly and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Wow. Look how excited we are by staring at this. It's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's, it, it's also... Sigh, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake here. Oh, thank you. Fucking die. Before I go, is there anything I could do in return? DON'T ASK HER THAT! Actually, do you know how to play chess? No. Yeah, well, sort of. I played it with some older kids before. Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Why? You're really good at this. Can I just shut this down and teach her what it means to, like, defy me? No. Damn it! Thank you. It was built into my code. Ugh, so... What's it like, being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots and all they say... And they all say something about programming and code and stuff, even if you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes, I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? Can I, can I just stop this? You cannot perform this action during cutscenes. Damn it! Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and the things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? But? When did your queen get there? The only thing you could do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But? Check me. Alright. Guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, uh, thank you also. Wow. Wow. Travel. Let's go to the docks. Can I sleep yet? She's not sleeping. You're not sleepy. I'll make you sleep! <laughs> I have so much power over this game, it's freaking amazing. Did anything appear because I did that? I don't know. No, nothing new. Nothing new. But it was amazing. Let's start it up again. <laughs> Waiting for the game to pop up on the screen on the OBS. OBS, seriously! Oh my god, it takes so long. Dilly? Are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything just went really dark, so the dark, the light bulb doesn't even light it. Yeah. <laughs> have you talked to the head engineer? She lives, you know, I would have given, okay. Amber here. Oh, this is the Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. You leave. You take the crowbar. It's been your trusty crowbar and you leave that goddamn son behind. Did she just throw him in the water? That is acceptable. Onwards we go. But I wanted all of that. I'm upset. Look how pretty the water is.
Here's your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Well, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a successful. Uh, are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Look at all the clovers! Do I have anything? I have the strange journal. Well, this is an interesting world. I do like her scarf, it's cute. But it does not mean that I will let her get away easily with not treating me like a god. What? But what are these bubble things? What, what's going on? Hello? I'm catching fireflies for mommy. What are you, you creepy little thing? It's full of fish heads. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads filled with small dried fish. There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding. Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know, but now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. Uh, an empty jar. And a jar of worms. Gross. Let me take this. It's a fish stew. I don't want your fish stew. These are filled with small dried fish. There's just fish. I'm a false shepherd? How dare you, Wolfie? Hmm, nothing's biting. I'm not the shepherd. She is. And it's not my fault she's false. I'm a god. She's not. Can't go on that. Gotta go this way. Alula? Alula, where did you go? Dilly, did you hear that? Alula? I think it's coming from southeast of here. You are the only one who can speak to me, and I regret this life decision. Why did I not have my hand in this? This is the best fishing spot I found yet. All the fish I catch here are no longer are longer than my arm. It's full of eels. Wait, no, it's full of snakes. Ew. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little shorter than you and wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? Uh yeah. Oh my stars. Sorry for my rudeness, huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I am the god, Wolfie! Samantha's the only god. Samantha was created by me, therefore I am more powerful. But she is the goddess. I've been looking all over, but what does she look like? Mm, a little shorter than you, long blue hair. Two blue feathers at the top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. Ran out of places to look. Gimme jar full of fireflies. It's just fireflies here. It was fish at the other place, now it's fireflies here. It's, it was, it was thwimp. Thwimp. With that beautiful glowy thwimp. Water sample collection and process. Oh. Dilly just logic the crap out of <laughs> What, wait, what? Oh yeah, no. Oh, the, the god goddess, the, yeah, exactly. Um, well, I don't know where your ruins are, but I'm going to assume there's possibly somewhere over here, because I don't think I felt like I searched fully over here. I might have, though. I might very well have. Yeah, no, I did not. It's pretty. This jar is full of milk. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always says. Drink it. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left in the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Well, one's wet and one's not. This jar is full of dried beans. An empty jar. 
You're gonna get dizzy to keep spinning around like that. I am the tower, huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. Full of dried beans. Do they deserve it, though? Do these people really deserve it? Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get close, though. Squares? Squares, man, they're bad news. Oh, boy. We can't get in this house. Oh, we can. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Dilly can make it better again. Are you Dilly? Uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Dilly, though. Wow! That, what's, that, what's that like? Really cool. No, it's not. Stop making shit up, or else I'll make your head explode. I'm your god. I like... Come here. Yes. So exciting. Spring is coming. Yeah, spring is coming. And it was nice out here. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day, the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. These people aren't very thankful. We have a lot of jars. This is it. Last of our grain surpluses. Now we're dealing with a vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats like me. Not that I'm a cat, I mean. Oats. Heads of wheat. Jar of some sort of grain. Flour. Isaac's making noise. Wow, is that the sun? Yeah. And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Some jars. Some kind of stew. Glad I found this town. It's, it's pretty. Some kind of stew. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not that hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Why don't you eat stew? They offered it to you and you refused? Little stuck up little snotty child. Get Smith Dilly, prepare for my civil rights beam. What does that even mean? <laughs> Oh my god, Wolfie. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Uh, yeah, the air conditioners will soon be coming. Please advise, Saver, you have to hurry. Uh, I'll do my best. My biggest worry is that we're going to have to replace the air conditioner in the study, um, which is this room, because it's not been outputting as much cold air as it did the first year. And it's louder. Mm-hmm. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. You kind of just push them around. Hmm. But you are carrying the sun. Ah, uh, wait. Can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Um, okay. Come back when your hands are free. You'll be rewarded if you can herd my rams. It's a firefly jar. Wow, he responded. Hey, uh... You here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer, I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Dilly? The sun? Obviously. Dilly, no! <laughs> I don't think it's right to trade this away, Dilly. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it! I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Here, have the strange journal. Don't you want to find out what it says first, Dilly? What's that, a book? Uh, not sure if I want to take books I can't read. Wait a minute. I can't combine those. But it's got a clover on it. The doorway is full of vines. Not going that way. Not looking forward to warmer weather. I like colder weather. Um, I do like spring, though. Other than sudden allergies I never knew existed hitting me. It's never that good. 
The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. Well, that's because the fish live in the water, you dumbass. What? It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Take it. What's this? A pair of shoes and some jewelry. This looks like an altar. Can we put the sun on the altar? No. Ah! to herd the ram, but we can't herd the ram. Life on these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see very, some very small sprouts. It will probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Small sprouts. I gotta be careful I don't step on these. Step on them. Step on them! She won't. Spring and summer, it feels like Satan's armpits. Since it doesn't get cold. Ew. <sighs> okay. So, traveling. Forest. Let's go to the forest. Let's go to him. Wait. Travel. Ruins. Okay, I can't do there. Village. Uh, have I found everything in these areas yet? I might. Oh, wait, I found an area I haven't been. I found another area I haven't been. Another area I haven't been. Here we go. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No, I'm with Dilly. Oh, carry on then. You're not with anyone. You're just insane. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello, are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? Oh, carry on then. How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of purple than red, but your eyes are stuff of red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss sample, so it will return to my station in the city soon. I see. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Oh. Dilly and I actually fixed one of these earlier in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. Generator, this one's got a working battery. Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. Oh, these are the phosphor trees. Let's harvest them. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Wonder why. Excuse you. Beep poop water collection resuming. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um, my programming says that organic beings need water to survive, so I shall offer it to you. Uh, oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. Take care now, person. The label says water sample. Can't come. Let's pour it on the light bulb. No. So I have a water sample. That's great. What do I do with this water sample? Let's see. Uh, how can we help with the AZ donation drive for subscriber goals? Um, we're not. Uh, we're not in the mindset of doing donation drives and. Um, subscriber goals guys um everything you guys have been doing is super super helpful already and we've been very very cautious with the donations and the subscription stuff that has come in to us through the paypal so we already should have enough backed up to deal with the air conditioning if need be 
we just don't like the idea of something cutting in that could cost that much right now with um, current unemployment situations. Water sample collection in progress. Here, let me give you this. Nothing. Um, but yeah. Bye, Wolfie. Are you from the village? No. Uh, well, that one... Okay, so... Now I need to figure out how to... I, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Okay. I feel like I need to do. So I I feel like I need yeah, to do some food water. In the ruins. You go in there? I can't go in the ruins yet. There's two cave. There's two entrances. Oh, I didn't see the other entrance. I'm back at the ruins. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I didn't see the. I didn't see a second entrance. Oh, it's not this way. I had an entrance that was covered over with vines. And there's this altar. Yeah. Looks like an altar. An orb. The material looks like amber. It's a staff. Reminds me of the one the robot from the Barons was holding. Some kind of cloak or shawl. <coughs> oh, can I trade with you? How about this glass tube full of water I got from a robot? Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass so much. So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. I gotta get rid of some of my old bottles of vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place, so I guess that's a no-go. Let me see. I don't see a second entrance. It's just this fine one. Honey, where's the... Um, <coughs> where's the second entrance? Trap. Forest. Uh, notes. That was great. Well, there's this way, but I think this is to the village. Oh. Door is full of vines. I just have vines everywhere still. Hello. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can't enter the refuge. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name on the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Um. No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? I'm gonna go in this way. It's pretty. Hello, person. Please do note. Do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh. Should we not be here? There's no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Okay. Cluster vines blocking the way. Give me a machete! I need a machete. Just water everywhere. It's a computer. Hello again, Dilly. It seems I need to help. Need to help you again. Why did you change my wallpaper? Ugh. It seems I need to help you again. Nika will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has a fall has fallen to the most ex easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Yes, because I have two monitors. You'll know what to do with it then. 
No, I don't! Remember the document, correct? This time it's even more obvious. What's the most easily- I already know, it's on my desktop. Oh my god. Is this supposed to be like a map? What? No. <laughs> it's not. Unless there's something later on that I get. These vines appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in the doorways and stuff. I just assumed that because this place was abandoned, a sign of distress. A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Ah. Just ah. That's all Nico does. Ah. I get it. Ah. Let's go. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Two. Oh. Oh. The pathway is blocked by blocks. My god, are you serious? It's blocked by blocks! The squares! The squares! What's going on? Everything's becoming viney. Savior? I can't believe it, you're real, miss? Are you alright? Hi, Namasaurus. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay, it's okay. Too late for me. But, the sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I will. Oh, would it would it be too selfish of me to ask? No, here, take it. What should I do? Give her the sun. There you go. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. You take that. I'm busy hurting rams. Travel. I can't travel from here. I want to herd the rams! I like how much darker it is without the sun. We're gonna go herd some rams before we do anything else. Seriously, this is what we're doing with our life. Except I'm going the wrong way. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. What the hell am I doing? Ow. What in the world is this thing? It reminds me of what I saw a while ago. The cliffs, for some reason, I'm afraid to touch it. I want... That's that's for the symbol that's on my desktop. I don't... I guess I could figure out how to do that, but... We're gonna travel to the village. We're gonna go... And I just I can't. Let me let me let me do your rams. Your hands are now free. Would you like me to herd help me herd my rams? It's a great reward in the store. Yes. Exit south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are still standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them into the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Like this one. Go. Go that way. Go that way. I got stuck. I saw what to do. Shit. Crap. Uh, 
I fucked up! <laughs> oh my god, I almost had it too. Don't make fun of me! So upset. I'm seeing my problem right now. Just try it. It's not gonna fucking work. And so I can't have the one in the top left. I did it my first try. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well, he's not going anywhere. He's definitely got to go somewhere around here. Upset by this. I'm upset by this. I suck at this thing right now. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> this one has to go here. <clears throat> I mean, why else? Why else? Why do I have a bunch of messages incoming? Oh. Okay. Anyways. Um. <sighs> Am I just going to be repeating the same mistakes if I do this again? I don't know how else to do this on this point. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, no. I got it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> You provide a great service for all of Ramkind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Um, oh, um, thanks. Let's go and trade this. I have a feeling this guy wants this shit. It's kind of useless. It's probably not. <clears throat> I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What will this get wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is exactly. Some sort of fabric dye? Uh, how about it, Dilly? Eh... Wait, Dilly, you want me to haggle? Really? All right, then. Dilly said they wanted a better offer. Holy smokes, forgot I was doing a trade with God for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case, I'll also throw in this commemorative t-shirt. No. Oh, well then, come back. I think... Well, huh, that'll get you. This fine vial I'm gonna... Uh... <sighs> so all I could do is the commemorative t-shirt at the same time. Pleasure doing business. So I have a novelty t-shirt, which has a ram on it, and a, a vial of dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. I want to dye stuff. Okay. I have a novelty t-shirt. So proud. What? What is wrong with this ram? One novelty t shirt. And they're done that. It's an exorcist ram. What? It's an exorcist ram. It's an exorcist ram? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Going this way. Okay. 
Yeah, because this should be free now. The vines are seeded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. It gave her the sun for now. She said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. But I have a commemorative t-shirt. You know what I need? The sun back. If I take the sun, does she get scared again and the vines will come back? It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. I guess we are just leaving it. I guess we're just... We're just... We don't need the sun anymore, guys. We're done. Okay. Let's go back to that one room where we know the puzzle exists. It's the only room left to us. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Look, I found a girl with the blue feathers. Oh, now it changed my desktop screen back. Thank God, at least it undoes it. You saved me, thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother early. How does she know I'm the Messiah? I'm not carrying the sun. Ask me, answer me that. How does she know I'm the Messiah? I'm not carrying the sun. Alright. Oh, Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? I want the sun back. Wait a minute. How'd you know that I was um, the um, Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes, huh? They reminded me of the sun. <laughs> oh, that's why you're the Messiah, right? Well, I. A lot of people in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in the tower. Do you like this world too? I, yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute, but that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. This is yours, your prison cell. I'm gonna put you back in here. Damn it. Can I go get my son back? I guess we're gonna go and give you back to your brother or something for now. Guess. <clears throat> Please do not the ruins below our pretty. Oh. Whatever, we've already talked about this. Do you want a commemorative t shirt, little girl? The puzzles are cute and simple. That ram puzzle was not simple! Oh, wait. I have dye. I just need, like, a feather. I can't sleep down, Dilly. I need to get to Alula to her brother first. What if I shut off the world? What if I shut down the world and you had to deal with Alula just by yourself? What happens now? <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> oh. Dilly, let me know when you're back. I'm back. I don't know why this keeps happening. <laughs> just... I'm gonna make her f know and accept God's presence. <laughs> because when I am not there, all is dark. <laughs> I am the light of the way of the light of the life of the light, light, light. Calumet! Alula, you're okay. Thank goodness. 
I was trapped in Seth's room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Just sleep with the loo. <laughs> it's horrible, fruitcake. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them, too. I will. Anyway, oh. I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Would it not be rude to call you by name? Uh, why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah, then you would like to visit our house, Nico? No. Sorry, but I think Daly might want to go somewhere else right now. That's fine. I'm sure you both have more important things to do right now, but feel free to drop by if you change your mind. Yeah, we have something nice to give you, Nico. We live in the ruins, so don't forget. Oh, that's creepy. Why do they live in the ruins? I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. I want to see if anything happens. Does anything happen? Nothing happens. It's nothing happens. We're just gonna have our dream again. Waiting for it to pop up through OBS so you guys can see the dream because it's really cute. There we go. What? Why are you looking at that like that? Dilly, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village, but then I woke up. Sigh. Oh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Dilly? Stop talking to me. I'm your god. No. Oh, well. They're really pretty. They look like... Wait, you just saw one in my dream. The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean of food. Oh, wait, but there's food in regular oceans, too, like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. Me neither. Oh, I guess we have that in common, Dilly. But you're kind of seeing the ocean now, in this world, anyway. As for me, I've seen them on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here, either. Uh, but it's, I guess it's because the world is already sort of dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Dilly. Shut the hell up! It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. It's good you got over that. I guess. Otherwise, it wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. Where's the sun now, child? And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now. I like how she's not like... Oh yeah, the sun. This bottle of dye isn't the same as having something to write with. I need I need something to act as a pen because I have ink now. How dare you? Nico is doing her best. Wow! She's doing her best and I acknowledge that. What I don't acknowledge is the fact that she talks to me like I am just her best friend. I'm her god! And I will continue shutting the lights off in her world until she remembers that. Yeah, this computer's off now. Let's go this way. Does Nico really think she has some autonomy here because I'm really controlling her? She's like going, ooh, I'm my own person. I'm like, mm, blah. <laughs> Maybe their house is this way because this was blocked before. Yeah. Oh, Nico, did you come by for a visit? Our house is up here. Please follow me. You're here. You're here. 
I'll go get the thing. Is it a pen? It better be a pen. It better be a freaking pen. So uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. It's better than those oh, little cobble huts. With them. No. You go with them, and she's like, he, he goes like, oh, there's a block in the way, and the girl's like, oh. And she just kicks the block out of the way. Oh my He's God. like, oh, I didn't even think of doing that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Is it a pen? It's a pen. At the same time, I'm very upset at it. You're giving me a pen. This is like a really bad retirement gift. It's either a gold watch or a commemorative pen. Thank you for your 50 years of service. Here's your goddamn pen. <laughs> oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather for the great prophet. Oh, yeah! She's the old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or, some, or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are, are you sure? Totally sure! I think that's what Father would have wanted. Thank you. And now I have... I'm gonna turn your sacred feather into <laughs> the ink and quill. And it's a feather pen now. I am now going to use this as a drawing and writing implement. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. <clears throat> Can I get the sun back now? Hey! I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. It's, look at the clothes. It's cute. It's clothes. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. What is, what is with this place that you guys have? Oh, this must be the way to the next area. Looks like you used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat none of us can swim in. What's the, what's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit Mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see Mom again. Come on, Alula, let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay! Okay. The glow in the dark pen is oh my what? What is the glow in the dark pen? So glad they have a life out there. Goodbye. Nothing. Oh, it's a spoiler info. I get ya. The light's gone out. Dilly, do you know what happened? No. You, but, but, oh, what am I gonna do? Pick it up. It lit up again? Phew. She's gone. Oh, there's something on the ground here. It looks... Like a kernel of corn? She must have left it behind. I'm so glad she left us some food. Her name was Maze. Her name was Maze. This is not the way out I wanted. <laughs> hey, do you want a seed? But 
what if it's like her baby? I can't give away someone's baby like that, especially not to a bird. Hey! It's okay. You could leave, you could give it away! She's like, no. No, why? <coughs> what if I do seed with tube of water? I can't combine those. Okay, whatever. Wasn't there an area with seedlings? Dilly going around, take my seed. Yeah, there was an area with seedlings. I remember that. It was like tiny seeds, don't step on the seeds. I was in the beginning area, I think. Not in the beginning, beginning, but the beginning of this area. Um, excuse you. I found a pen, sort of. Good, please write your name here. No one here to make these jokes, so it's fallen on you and you have to set up this challenge. Good luck. You're welcome. I have a seed I should be planting, but fuck that child. What in the world? Touch it. Touch it and prove that you are greater than it. Touch it! She won't. <laughs> she won't touch it. Here, touch this. She won't touch it. It's not so scary when it's all like, oh, it's just a blocked wall. Well, there's the city. <laughs> Your mind is worse than this chat should know. Um, that's fine. This chat's mind is pretty bad. It is a cool art style. I do like the art style. Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? Suppose to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I've got to get down a lot of stairs or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright, thank you. Off you go, then. I wish you luck. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. I, the only the bearer of the sacred kernel, is permitted access to the garden. I am the bearer of the sacred kernel! Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the kernel. Then it's your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? No. Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Now yeah, we're not doing that. I, your guard, god, say she deserved death. And so do all of her children. Come on! Work already, huh? What was that? We're gonna ignore the seed for forever. Why isn't this working? I think someone might need help. Oh. But the sign said go that way. Hello. Come on! Come on! Too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're you! Aw, oh, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into- this is embarrassing. Er, is there, uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you are gonna say that. Right now, the elevator's the only way to access the surface, but, yeah, just take a look at it. It looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but go look at the button panel. Uh, there aren't any buttons. Yup, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. But maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll make have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. 
not helping. My foot hurts. You have to regrow her and take on the sacred mission, Dilly. Now we go this way. <laughs> yeah. Let's use her as a button. Hmm. It's been ripped out. How come there aren't any broken wires inside the empty slot? Well, I'm no engineer, but it's powered by some sort of magnetic technology. I know this much. I guess I can't use this. Hey, you want a shirt? I'm losing so much time. I hate this. Not allowed that way. So many different ways to go. Oh my god. This freaking maze. Hello. It's an empty coffee tin. I've always wanted coffee grounds. Oh, it says the word ground on it. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because of the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. The coffee machine, it's nearly full. Can't combine those. The coffee machine, it's nearly full. Milk and sugar, I like both, but not in coffee. What is wrong with you, Nico? that way hi hmm it's been ripped out <clears throat> so we need metal I have metal jump off this world is horrible just end it um, I'm a little tired from walking is it all right if I take a nap no ah uh, well I suppose there's more work to do you don't have to take a nap Nico you don't need to take a nap. You know what, let's let Nico take a nap. Let's see what these stupid dreams are about. I'm a little tired for more. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, it's fine. Nico is now napping. Uh, and now we're replaying. <clears throat> oh, it's all in a dream! Oh, mom is making me pancakes. Oh my god. Oh, yum. <clears throat> Dilly, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes, because I can't say anything else. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? No, I'm a god. I see. Makes sense since you're a god. So do you like pancakes too? No. Ah, well they're tasty. Maybe you should give them a chance, you know. My mama makes the best pancakes and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? No, I'm a god. Oh, that sounds a bit lonely. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Now you want pancakes? I actually made pancakes for us uh, Sunday. Our neighbors and my mom, was it Sunday? No, I think it was Saturday. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. That's right. Don't talk to me about my life anymore. I'm a god. I'm mysterious. I'm mysterious! You know nothing about me! Let's go this way. Oh my god. I can open this one? Yep. A landscape painting. <clears throat> An abstract painting. <clears throat> are you an intruder? Because if you are, I bottle 8x. 8XM, home security bot, serial number 3, whatever. We'll have to report you. <laughs> report you. Oh, sorry. Kai just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activities detected zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. It's off. Dilly, someone lives here. We just can't sleep in their bed. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Well, there's a computer here that we're going to have to wait to have turned on at some point. 
It's a wall of family photos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. That's that was enlightening. It's a penguin. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's a pink flower. That was really scary. That was really creepy. Picture of many ones and zeros. Painting of four robots playing cards. My parents are like literally never home, but I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model CW2 second generation unit 4E here to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes. That's okay. She's learning. If I work really hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. Lazi! Thank you for the raid! How are you doing? How is your stream? I may have uninstalled the beta for Dead by Daylight. How is your stream? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? What were you playing? <laughs> Was it po Pokemans? The Pokemans? <laughs> we're playing one shot today, guys. Um, I've been trying to smack Nico over the head and remind her that I'm a god. Kirby and then Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <clears throat> Yay, Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. Attempting to stream Dead by Daylight did it not go very well. Was it Lazu's computer, or was it just Dead by Daylight? That's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. Uh, <laughs> taming. It's like, hey, what does taming of robot means? No one will tell you. Deli smell- uh, Lazu! A combination. <laughs> I was right. I have to go down at some point back there. Hey, more bells. <coughs> Something has been chewing on this plant. Was it this guy? Hey, aren't you a bird person? I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. You blame Lazzy's, la Lazzy's laptop? I blame Lazzy's laptop. I was said I was going to play Dead by Daylight with you. And then Isaac stole my computer for three to four hours on Saturday to make sims for the, the subscribers. And then I could not play anything. So that was the day I was going to play with you. <laughs> My neighbors gave me some plants to cheer me up, but I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. You should probably not have- here. Wanna eat a seed? It's sacred. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Plazzy. We'll still play. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a little car. You should ride on it. What? Do it! This is your god command you! Oh my god. Well, that was fun. We ride at dawn and she even unlocked. <laughs> a potted plant. A potted plant. This one has a pink flower on it. Look at all the plants here. Filled with plant clippings. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grow all these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. I don't want to. That's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? Oh no, not at all. Although these trees are composed of a woody tissue, they're clear to go. They're closer to grass anatomy-wise. So the branches are actually leaves? Sorta. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor, that's glowy stuff, right? Yup. Yeah. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them, though. Well, let's talk about something else. It's wheat. Why isn't it a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small isolated plots or in a flower pot. Hey, you want this? Most of the plants in our world, even if it's facing the flooding issues, is still in better condition than the other two areas. The barrens as well as the barrens. And Refuge City has barely enough ground to stand on, let it know grow stuff on a larger scale than this, I mean. Here. Filled with plant clippings. Pink flower. Water can, it's half full. The sink. Do you do you want do you want to plant this? Ah, uh, black clover. It's probably only plant hard 
hardy enough to survive naturally outside the glen. Personally, I think they're really boring to look at. One of my customers really loves them, though. I think all the black clovers I'm growing here are for him, actually. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. I wonder when he is coming to pick these up. You don't want this seed? It's sacred. I have the sacred seed. My sacred seed. Coffee machine. It's very warm. <clears throat> pile of large books. They look like phone books. Photograph of the city sky. What's a phone book? Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will when I see her again. You're never seeing her again. Just a trash can. Just a trash can. <laughs> It won't let me throw it out. It's like, why are you doing this? It's like, that's sacred. What is this? So fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy. I hope nobody will mind us taking them. Here. Metal can, magnets. Magnets don't stick to aluminum. Why? Why don't they stick to aluminum? aluminum? I'm sorry. Aluminium? Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh my goodness. So that's where I went to. It's just a trash can. I'm trying to throw the sacred seed away. I'm glad I corrected myself too. It's a small tree. Good afternoon. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell time, I mean? I have my ways. Oh. This doesn't sound ominous. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? No. Fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Um, it didn't make anything on my desktop as far as I can tell, and it didn't do anything in the documents folder. Aluminum. I mean aluminum. Aluminum. I have a piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. <clears throat> Why does that look like just a bunch of boats? Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of the world's population lives here. That was nice. So I have this weird film. What did it say? Expose it to the void? I feel like I have to throw it in the trash can. And then maybe it'll appear in my recycling bin. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams for a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two-story tall. Okay. Are we just constantly walking? What about you, Dilly? Where do you live? Someplace else. I'm a god! You don't ask me these questions! Something that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well, maybe not a ship. Can you imagine living in a city like this, though? I can't. It's kind of scary, but also really cool. Like, what are you doing with your life? Is that going around in circles? Yeah, it's almost like an area just for contemplation or something. Wow. 
Stop arguing over aluminium versus aluminum. They're just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. <clears throat> tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Oh, my God. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. <sighs> Some kind of computer terminal. And the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually, the surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing in. Can you take a look? <clears throat> Leaving this room is not in my programming. Oh, no, never mind. But. Tape. God damn it. I say Jeff. <clears throat> and it's, uh, according to the dictionary, it's either or. It's either GIF or GIF. I want to see if there's anything in here. Publishers didn't think kids in America would want to read a book that had a philosopher in the title. I just figured that they wouldn't understand what a philosopher's stone was supposed to have been. But that makes a lot of sense, too. Initial thought is it's supposed to expose this to the void. Checking. Mm. Well, let me close down then and there. <clears throat> Transparent sheet filled with numbers. for another hint. Shut up. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours, the edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. Pass the film through the... Oh, are you serious? trying to do a print. What about a print screen? No. Print screen doesn't do it. You're testing my patience. You really want the answer. When you view the film, it fills your entire window into our world. Yes, I get that. I believe you've heard of the action described as drag. I tried dragging. The void is beyond the borders of your view. I threw the void and back again. Yeah, 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 I did that. And it's not letting me drag it. Not unless I have to drag it from a certain point. Okay, I can drag that. I can't actually drag the window. 
I can drag the game window around. Yeah, I'm having problems doing this dragging thing. What about from these lines? No, no. Oh my god. So my problem is it, it apparently wants me to drag it somehow. Let me see. Can I drag that? No. When you view the film, it fills your entire window into our world. Yes. I believe you refer to the action I describe as dragging. The void is beyond the borders of your view. Through the void and back again. What I notice is there's like a little blue screen that appears when I do that. No, that's just the room border. Can you help? Yeah, because I don't feel like doing this. Are you trying to drag, drag it from the top? I it's did. Out the window. This is stupid. Drag it over here. Now drag it up there. I, I... Drag it all the way down. This doesn't work when they talk about the four views not the being your views. monitor. No, but the way it's saying into our world, it's not the monitor, it's the fucking game window. Welcome it's a back. really badly Mommy, obscured I one. I, had I was so mad when I figured it out because I got angry and I shook it. <laughs> 63014. Well, that's great. I don't know what to do with the 63014. Cannot fast travel. One twenty, Brad. Thank you for the resub. Some kind of computer terminal. Good night, AJ. Good night, AJ. I I don't. Six three zero. Oh. No, I'm reading chat. I just I'm I honestly I don't know what to do at this point. It's that's the worst thing. Yeah, I know I have a code for something. You know where to put it? No. Okay, what have you done so far? I've explored this entire freaking area. Do you have a bottle of water still? Yes. Trash. Wait, how did you have a bottle of water? I traded for it. Yes. What did he give you? Nothing. What? I told me to ask him about plants. Did you not interact with the seed? Fuck the seed. The thing is staying with me for forever. Huh? Okay. Then. Oh, no, we're good. So I have to use the seed? <laughs> well. Do I have to use the seed? No. Because you can tell the girl no, so I'm assuming you don't need to use the seed. Yeah, you don't need to use the seed. I don't want to use the seed because... Go to the city area. I can't go to the city area. So what do you need to do? What do you have in your inventory? All this. Let me... The metal can. Try cutting it up. Really? With what? Scissors. I don't have a pair of scissors. I'm going to scream you at you. Not a pair of scissors. Okay, well, I'll try using the magnet. I so can't use the magnet with a metal can. It will not stick. I cannot use, use the, the magnet on that. I can't do that. If I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. I'm getting frustrated. It's longer than a second so I can see I don't want you to hand what hold me through it. That's I the can't problem. tell you where to go if I don't know what point you're at, baby. Well, you stop doing whatever you're doing downstairs and stay here. <coughs> <coughs> I 
<coughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I figure this out on my own. Uh, I'm aware. I know. Oh, you know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. Hey, <laughs> him. He didn't get it. I don't need you to look up a walkthrough for me. Stapler bolted to the table. I can doubt I can use a stapler here. Definitely can't use the tape dispenser with a coffee can. Can you combine things? I'm only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. I can't get that to stick. Um. Amber, magnets, can't combine these. Maddox, light bulb, can't combine. Metal can, light bulb, can't combine. Tube of water, metal can. Tube of water's probably for the seed. And then there's this door up here with a thing on it. I have a piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Um, can't do anything with the small screen. starting to get frustrated. Did you find the bathroom yet? No. You just walked past the bathroom. Small potted plant. Here, have some water. It's a sink. It's a pair of scissors on the ground on a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so. Okay. Scissors, scissors, metal can. Okay, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out the piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape, just like arts and crafts. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out by getting tape with the magnets. Cannot travel while inside. <clears throat> no, not that one. Over here. A tape dispenser is bolted to the table. Oh, Freaking hell. A tape dispenser is bolted to the table. Magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough. Tape dispenser. Of course, I gotta tape it together. It might fall apart. Good thinking. Okay, 
So we have a tape button. Oops. Okay, going back to the elevator. Let's hope this works. <clears throat> oh. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares, huh? You saw them, right? They were in the door and... Oh, no, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. Guess we should go look for a code. We have one. 63014. It needs a code. Six... Three, zero, one, four. What? It works. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Dilly, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Oh, thank you for letting the, the, elev the elevator door open for me, mister. No prop, hop in. This child doesn't respect me enough still. Now we get elevator music. The awkward silence of waiting in an elevator. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. <clears throat> well, maybe we can chat to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Dilly, should I... Resume awkward silence. I am a demanding God, but a fair and just one. <laughs> this is awkward silence. <laughs> this is great. Hi. It's okay, I accept your apology for being nasty. Not being nasty. I'm frustrated. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. C seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Dilly. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. If only you would sleep once in a while, but I won't let you. Beep boop, beep boop. It's not how you talk to robots. Sigh, you all right? Ah, oh, the Messiah perhaps is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. <clears throat> but what do you think? I think, I think I should listen to Dilly. After all, Dilly has helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. And as you question life, I quit your game. And I force you to remember that I am the light and all else is darkness. And then I shall bring it back. <laughs> I am the light. <laughs> you are not. I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? No, I pretty much. <clears throat> I am the light and you are the dark. The world is dark without me. I like the sign that literally is like this way. It's a trash bin. What was that? Dilly, did you see what happened? Yeah. My vision went blank for a second, then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Probably something over here ready to eat you. It's a faded flyer. It's a faded flyer. Curious marking on the wall. It looks like a, a ram. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, look at all the kitties! <gasps> oh my god! The kitties. 
We love the kitties. We shall not leave them to their warmth. <clears throat> Do I have anything for kitties? No. What is with this freaking map? What are you? You're a fox. Whoa, Dilly, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. <clears throat> I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um, but can you promise me something, huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Er, what do you mean by that? No reply. You mean like this? Shut it down the game! Nothing happened. Checking my documents. No. No. Unless it wants her to go to sleep. Nico, I'm back. Not gonna hit it yet. <clears throat> Waiting for OBS to pick it up. I am the god, Axel. I'm not able to do what I want. Hey, Dilly. Welcome back. <sighs> I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do anyways. There's some big plastic discs in here. It looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Dilly. Are you really going to take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Hey, they're actually pretty light. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. A bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. What is... Oh, I got... Oh, jeez. There's a concave, there's a convex, there's a thin, and a thick. You're not going to be able to combine these. I think I'm going to have to fall asleep to deal with... This isn't going to do anything, is it? No. I'm going to have to fall asleep to deal with the fox somehow. That's my guess. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're quarantined. They're guaranteed. Oh my god, quarantined. They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Oh no, don't say that again. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Uh, this stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. Oh. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. What is all these? Is this black and white cookies? Ready for me to blow your mind? Yes. Okay, so I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these little pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. So we're gonna take this. Where is it? Water pill and tube of water. So put the pill in the water. It dissolved really fast. It's medicated water. <clears throat> I'm assuming that's what I was supposed to use on the sacred seed, but the sacred seed must never be allowed to exist. <clears throat> Good night, Argentium. Da, da 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 checking, checking. Hello, it's a giant X. I'm assuming that's something I'm gonna have to deal with later. <clears throat> I 
I'm, I'm kind of curious. No. I just want to see what I've unlocked on fast travel, because I'm assuming the city has a whole different level for fast travel. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh, well, okay. I'm fine with that. What is over here? Oh. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. What's up, disheveled hair? When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. It's It probably would be spoilers, Brad. Um. <clears throat> okay, library. What? Well, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in the library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. It's a chatty one upstairs. This one. Oh, hello. Do you need directions to see this area here? Is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where this children's section is. Sorry, that's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. No, that's good. Or, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him. Not even once. <clears throat> he works together with the head of the librarian on publishing, so you think he would be at least he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't. Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. This computer here, it's currently off. Some sort of plaque. Reshelving in progress. Hello, person. Hi, reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Nothing here. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. A book. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections, most sections. Or how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. This is the library. Shh. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a, copy a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets and monsters. I sure hope people what? I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Yeah, then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Yeah, exactly. Do you want a feather? Well, I think I changed at least half a book's worth of content. And even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't all that bad, as long as people don't assume you eat mice. What is wrong with Nico? <clears throat> I mean, beyond what is normally wrong with Nico. Oh, I think I found this book club. The author published books at highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than... Oh, dear God. I've got to take this. I'll be back. Telemarketer. Nothing important. <clears throat> oh well. Okay. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. <sighs> According to the head librarian, there's still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers slightly do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. 
The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They are big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. It's just, this guy is just... Everyone's got a boner for him. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only just pictures. Neat! I like ponies. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. It's the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said he, there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. What? We're calling George. It's just ringing. It's just ringing. <coughs> she is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming thing. Can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Let's look over here. Oh, look, more coffee. Coffee is for grown-ups. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library required card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. No! She's busy. <laughs> she's not picking up i figured are you sure you can't just let me through letting you through without a library card is against my programming <clears throat> what even in an emergency my programming is not flexible i have not been tamed sigh so i'm guessing you don't give out library cards i only handle book transactions i for people who already possess cards ah to acquire a card, you would need to contact the librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Don't! I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Computer, it's currently off. I need a library card. You know, I've tried it for the fly mage to never seen such a thing, though. Guys, I need a library card. Hey, you. I know you don't want to talk to me. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him. Do you want to, do you have a library card? A quick death promise at least pain, don't you agree? What? Oh. <clears throat> well, at least we unlocked the library. That's a plus side. Hello. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No, newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Or aren't you a kid? I am a robot, right? Is this the vendor street, essentially? Oh. I know I didn't explore this area properly. There's the kitty cats. I have all these weird lenses. Looks like a ram. I have a feeling that's the entrance or something, but I don't know. Black Nance. Oh, anonymous gifted subs! To... How many, wait, where did we get? That's one sub. That's one sub. To grand, Grandpa Deer! Thank you for the gifted sub, Grandpa dear. How enjoy your how dare most. That's so nice. And so nice. A bag full of trash, gross. Can we sleep? It's a bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. Empty coffee cups. Lantern plant. There's a note attached that says thank you for working so hard.
I don't know. Um, Brad said, I don't know. I'm going to refresh it and see if it comes up. Well, just, yeah, try it. I mean, I'm hearing them, so... Did you refresh one? I did. It didn't come through. Black Mints! Did it? No. Oh, God. You have it on the top layer? Yeah. Honey. There. Sorry, guys. I didn't even notice. I'm not using one of my normal scenes for this one, just because of how small it is. Yeah. Yeah. A jar full of red glowing fluid. What is with a jar of red fl glowing fluid? Here, novelty t-shirt. It's a big book. Title says Understanding Robots. <sighs> big books. All these are dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. Oh, the red fluid is the same stuff that's in the lamp lighting. It's in the lamps. That's why the city's red. Let's go this way. Here he is. Oh, this is the lamp lighter! You looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory. You just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. <clears throat> well, good luck. You too. With the lamp. <clears throat> so, the end of the street. And make a turn. Oh. So this way? I thought I've been here. You know where I haven't been? Down the other way. Holy crap, Brad. Three years. That's a lot this? of bad decisions. What? No. Maybe this is a. I thought I've been here though. Oh no, I haven't been here. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor for now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. <clears throat> In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The, uh, you must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. What? I don't know what that configuration is. Not yet. It may help you to go one color at a time. <clears throat> it's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Beep boop. This is the printer room where the machine parts are made. Also robots. You can also help to write down previous attempts. Ah. How do I solve them? If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. This is the colors thing. Oh my god, hold on. I know what you're talking about. This is the same thing as from Mansions of Madness, isn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> okay. I like how I thought that I had to go outside to do this. So, two lights are correct. So, yellow equals two. Nine tries left. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, two. How many other total? One, two, three, four, five, five total. 
Eight tries left. None green. Red one. So we're going to try yellow, blue, yellow, blue, red. Blue, yellow, blue. Two lights are correct. So we're gonna try yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red. One light is correct. Access denied, four tries left. Blue. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, blue, red. Three of the lights are correct here. So I think the third one is likely blue. The last one is definitely not red. I'm sorry, the fourth one is likely blue. Um, I think the first one is blue, the third one is Y, the fourth is blue. So I think it's gonna be blue, red, yellow, blue, yellow blue red yellow blue yellow five lights correct access granted yay <sighs> um let's see oh he's having problems my robot, what happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... What am I gonna do? Do you want a t-shirt? Guess not. Um, this is so tedious. I miss the good old days before a robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people, but aren't you a robot? N no. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? Well, what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. It's a robot. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. I cannot stop spinning. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to refer. No living person could touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own, but not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. Boop. We're waiting to be repaired. This one isn't active. I can barely keep my eyes open. Man, how does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? I feel like I need to talk to Dr. Silverpoint. None of us have been sleeping very well in the light of recent events. The square particles took a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. <laughs> Mm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint all usually references his works. I like how everyone's drinking coffee. Let's go up here. Monitoring, monitoring. There are sure a lot of computers here, and they look important too. Uh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. Might have to put off the water analysis project for now. I want to press all of the buttons, but I must resist. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. No, don't resist. Damn it. 
Um, the Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Hello? Oh, shoot. Oh, look, it's the same gun. Surprise. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Dilly helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out the library card, so really. Hey, that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw, oh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition and my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Oh, that one person in the vendor street. Shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. No, this one. So let's poke out for the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Hey, Dilly, doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? You leave well enough alone. You leave well enough alone. What? Uh, I'll show you later. Okay. Let's find the person who wants to offer a picture. Is it you? Here for your photos? Actually, yeah, I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is the photo center is right behind me. Bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Heh, <laughs> you're catching on quick. After operations ended the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Dilly and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Do I need to talk to all these people? It used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. It used to be one of the camera engineers. The camera? Oh, joy. Okay. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be a figure out who's who. All right. There's how many lenses? One, two, three, four. That shouldn't be too bad. So four, three, two, one. Used to be one of the the camera choice. We went through thick and thin together, and by that I mean the concave lens did. She's convex, I'm betting. Because she's not thick or thin. Here. But, oh, I can't do it this way. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? <clears throat> it's been a while. Pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. The bulgy lens, so the thick one, or is he talking about the convex? Convex is bulgy, right? Large lens curved outward. That's not helpful! So he's not convex, I'm pretty sure she's convex. Okay, hold on, not convex. Oh no. I got them wrong. I got them wrong. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let me see. When wrangling the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones.
So, oh. Okay. So the thin lens, so it needs to be convex, thin, concave, or something along those lines. He told me how to get the camera working again. Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. So, thick should be number one. So you need to be concave or convex. <clears throat> Essentially. We went through... Thick and thin together. The concave lens. So, I think it's thick. Thick, concave, thin... Convex. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that's right. That, I'm pretty sure that is it. Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah, I need to take a picture for... Well, I got good news. Uh... Like, uh Oh, it's this open door to my left. Or right here. Jeez. Oh, There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something may come out from it. Okay. So it's gonna have to be thick. Concave. Thin. Convex. Oh, I got standing in front of it. Hi. Uh, cheese? Ouch, my, my eyes! It's a photo of me. My eyes always this big? Yes, you're freaking weird. Now you're gonna take this wonderful photo and you're gonna mix it with glitter glue. The back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. And you take the glitter glue and you're gonna put it on the library card. <clears throat> it's now yours. Congratulations to the library. Oh my god! Mikhail the Linguist, thank you for the raid! How was your stream? What were you playing? How's life? I am playing one shot. I'm making this little girl remember that I'm God every five seconds. Well, I'm trying not to do every five seconds because every five seconds would be a little bit much. But welcome, raiders! And we're going up here. Um, 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 Life is mess, stream was okay. I can get behind that, honestly. <laughs> this is pretty much how things have been. The head librarian George is in the archival room. I don't, oh, here. I need this. Authentication barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. <laughs> We're going up. Look at the trash. <laughs> Looks like an old phone. It's full. There's a plant. <clears throat> There's a plant. So, someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? You're a die. Caught wind of my genius and couldn't help but come see for yourself, eh? Um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? I'm, I'm probably gonna miss it, Brad. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Ah, uh, but of course I can help. For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian, George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go in the tower. That's what I said. But how exactly? DM Isaac with it, Brad. What? Brad wants to really tell me something, but it feels it might be a spoiler, but doesn't want me to miss it, but... Honey. Doesn't know if it's visible. Send it on Discord, Brad. He doesn't realize DMing on Twitch will give him the message, too. 
Yeah, don't DM me on- don't DM on Twitch. That's what I said, but how exactly? Through the tower entrance room. Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not, if that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tone in a long dead language, then know that I, George, am fluent in several dead languages, I see. You mean like this strange journal? I'm gonna go through all your crap. Here, give me this. Book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirit. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from window and the sound of footsteps on wood floors. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Ratchis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musings and his writing has been more significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. A book is poking out. Ah, oh, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Wednesday. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Oh, look, it's the book I have. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. This must be from the author. The book is poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Wow. Here's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books, too. Are they all about clovers? A black clover is the mark of the author. Oh? Since he never entrusted me or anyone with his name, we identify his works by the art. So he wrote all of these books? I told you he was a genius. And by extension, me! I don't know if I love her or hate her. Small bed. I guess she lives here. I don't have the I haven't had the ability to go to sleep to go talk to the fox. Even the painting is books. Fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Oh, I do have this book though. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Aha! An ancient book, written by no less than the most ancient wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all, but it's written in a dead language nonetheless. Less. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I see. Yawn. Excuse me. Oh, what's this? You are sleepy? A little. Fear not, because I have read a book on hospitality before and thus have prepared for this exact situation. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall. Wow. There's another book. Book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, oh, it's the Prophet bot. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late Prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Blue phosphor, rounder look, redesigned internal audio receptor compatible with longer clothing, wireless signal amplifier. <laughs> Here we go. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. Which one did you encounter? What? Stack of blank papers. Stack of blank papers. It's a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. And then it closed. I desperately have to pee. You're getting a BRB screen briefly. I will be right back.
I is back. I'm putting back this up, but we have to restart this. I didn't see anything pop up. Let me check. No, nope. nothing in the folder. Yo game, are you starting? It's not starting. Give it a sec. Here. Preparing to launch one shot. Error occurred. Still running. Did you, did you not close it? Um, I went to, I had her go to sleep and it closed and apparently it did not close entirely. That's what you get for doing that bullshit earlier. Look. She needs to be reminded who's her god. <laughs> Constantly. Hold on, I forced shut down Steam. There's something else that's open. Um, <clears throat> I'm checking. No, it's 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 Steam. Steam has crashed for me. Hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, no, this is this is not the game. This is a Steam issue. Uh, and what I'm upset about is that I can't even get it open right now. No, there's a process from Steam that's running that I can't identify as Steam's process. Because it says the Steam boot tra strapper is running. But something else is stopping it and I don't know what else is, is running. Hold on. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, the bootstrapper client isn't restarting properly. Hold on. We might actually be done for the night. Just because I would have to do a full restart of the computer and everything. It is 5.56. You did an extra hour. Huh? You did do an extra hour. We're going to send you guys somewhere. Give her time to sleep. Jesus. Huh? Give her time to sleep. She did go to sleep. I don't give her enough time to sleep, and give I don't her, want her to have much time to sleep. Give cat. She's a small bit of prop. Anyways, you guys are going to send you over to Cat. We will continue this tomorrow afternoon. Have a good one. And thank you for coming and for being so patient for the interruptions. Goodbye.